Hello and welcome to the second video. It's Mr. Irvine here. I'm going to show you today how we can complete assignments using Google Classroom. So we're going to cover how we can complete written assignments using a computer or using the app and also how we can complete quizzes again using the computer or using the app. Okay so we're going to have a look at how we do an assignment. Uh, we're going to look at a written assignment so we're going to click on this top example here. Uh, inside the assignment there is uh, usually some instruction from a teacher on the left hand side here which will give you uh, the question or the task that you have to do. Um, on the right hand side uh, the teacher here has placed a Google Doc which is going to be basically like a blank piece of paper where you can write your answers on. Um, if that one isn't there it might be a Google Slide which is similar to PowerPoint where you can add pictures and move them around a little bit easier. Um, or you could add or create your own document there in which to write the answer on. Uh, in this case I'm going to click on the Google Doc which the teacher has uh, put there for me. And then you can see it opens up, it looks similar to Word, but it's in, in Google Docs Online. Um, so we can now start writing the answer. You can see the teacher's pasted the question into this one as well. Um, so we're going to... We're going to go got it on it. So we can see that uh, we, we can write on this just like we would with Word. You can change all the formatting and everything else. But to be honest, you might as well just leave all that the same um, in, in most cases for a written answer. Uh, we can write the rest of it, of course, it does save, it automatically saves over here, so it says last edit was a second ago, it will keep saving and it's got a little tick on this one to see to show you that it has updated it on the cloud. So there's no save button, we can close that whenever we like. Uh, we can go back into it later and we can add things to it, so if I go back in, you can see that all my stuff is still there. Um, let's close that again and if we wanted to hand that into the teacher, we can now press the hand in button. Uh, once we've handed it in, um, the teacher can see it, but the teacher can see it all the time anyway, but they get a notification. If you then wanted to go and make some changes to it, you can actually unsubmit it. So you can go back into it then and you can change it and you can hand it in again. Uh, down the bottom here, there's private comments. If you wanted to ask the teacher a question about it, so you can ask the teacher a question there. Um, you can also, uh, if you want to make a class comment, a comment to the whole class, you can add a comment there. So it might be that there's a class discussion going on, maybe the teacher's given some class feedback and you can ask some more questions which everyone else might have some benefit to. Okay, so we're going to have a go at doing the same assignment there using the app on a smartphone or a tablet. So we're in the classroom app, there's our class, I'm going to click on the assignment. When you open that assignment, uh, you can see the instructions at the top. Now the area down the bottom there with your work, if you click on that, you'll be able to click on the uh, attachment that you've already been given by your teacher, and in fact the one that we've just been looking at on the PC and you'll be able to have a look at it. Now you can see it has already got the words that I've typed in for that first question on the computer. Uh, we now want to edit it and we want to improve it so we can answer some of the other questions. So uh, the biggest problem that we found with students using this on a phone before is that you'd click the pen tool at the top. Now that pen tool basically lets you sort of highlight and draw over it but it doesn't let you type. In order to type on this you're going to have to use that little box with the arrow which means it is going to open it up in a separate window and it's going to open up within Google Drive. So if you, it may well at this point ask you to download Google Drive if you haven't already got it. Now Android smartphones are likely to already have it. Um, I'm not too sure about iPads and things like that. But once you've got it open in Google Drive, if you've had to download it, that'll then open up. You press the little blue pen tool down the bottom right hand side of the screen and then we can start typing like we normally would over here. Uh, you'll then be able to uh, you know, make all your modifications etc and then press the tick to finish it. So if I put very very simple answer to that. Oh, there you go. Here's the apps. And I press the tick at the top. Now that's actually going to tick and save my work. You can see it says saving at the top. All changes saved. I can close it. It's already on the document now. It will update this screen the next time you go into it. It hasn't refreshed yet. And I can press that hand in button when I'm ready to hand it in to my teacher. Uh, again to make a comment. Private comments are on here. So you can click on there and you can have a private comment which just goes between you and your teacher. Or if you go back to uh, the class, you can add a class comment at the top, which is just on the uh, homepage of that assignment. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how we can complete one of the quizzes. So if you have a look, I'm in the example class again with my test account. Um, you can see that there's been a quiz uh, posted to it, so I'm going to click on that quiz. Uh, when the window comes up here, we're going to uh, click on the Google Form link there, which takes us to the questions that we're going to be answering uh, the questions are uh, just single multiple choice answers here, so uh, very simple. I'm going to go through my computer science questions here, uh, hopefully get them all right, and we'll go and see uh, at the end of it what happens. So we're going to 
select, 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 select. Uh, there we go. And at the end, we can just press submit. And when you submit this, you can press the view score button. When you view the score, it will tell you how many you got right. So that one there is five out of five. So not bad, Mr. Irvine. You can close that window down now. You can go back, go back. And then inside here, you've already submitted it. You've already handed it in. So there's nothing else to do on there. And the teacher will see your grade when they log in. So we'll look at how we can do that quiz on a smartphone or a tablet with a classroom app. So we need to open up classroom again and we'll find the assignment. Once we've gone into the assignment, you'll see we've got the same attachment that we had on the PC. And we'll be able to click on that. And what it will do is it will open it up in a web browser. Now, if it, if it has forgotten or if you haven't told it to remember your, your email address and password in the browser, then it's going to ask you to sign in again. Once you've signed in, it will then open up and display the quiz. So the quiz will look very similar to what it did on the computer. So we should be able to go through this uh, and tick on the answers. And at the end of it, we'll be able to find exactly how well we did by pressing the view score button. And the view score has told me that I've only got two marks out of five. So I think I could have done a little bit better on that attempt. If I scroll down, I can see a little bit of feedback for each question. It will tell me which the correct answer was. Uh, it will tell me which ones I got right and wrong, of course. 